Whoops. Right. <laughs> We're back. And this is all a bit new and different, isn't it? Excuse the state of my beard. I have not had time. As you can see, things have changed slightly. Now, what has changed? <laughs> Apart from all, the, all this colourful and strange equipment. So, I mentioned a couple of videos ago that I had something planned and this has taken me it's been a couple of months in the process but the last few weeks have been really hectic getting this um, new setup ready to go so i now have my own studio five minutes around the corner from where i live it was just what i was doing was just not working in the home environment my equipment was taking over the, the house there was, you know, the, the trouble of filming when there's family noise. As much as I love them, sometimes it's tricky. Here is tucked away. It's completely silent. Sorry if there's a little wobble. It's all new. <laughs> so none of this would have been possible without you, you guys from the beginning. Your watch time, especially my members. Some of you have been members since I began my channel. <sighs> I'm going to put that down because I'm shaking, because I'm nervous. First video. None of this would have been possible. So don't, I don't want people coming in thinking, oh, you're bragging. This is not a brag at all. This is a move forward for the channel. This is a thank you to you guys for making this possible. So I aim to be, hopefully, depending on how I feel on the day, anxiety is a pain, but I hope, I'm hoping it's going to help me more by potentially being on camera more as well. So again, forgive the shaky hands. I will get used to it. I'm going to give you a quick tour just to show you the setup so far. I still need to do some more organizing. I've spent the last couple of days on my hands and knees cleaning. I've still got some decorating patchwork to do, but I'm going to give you a quick tour and just show you the setup so far. So I know things are going to be echoey for a, a little while as well. I need to get a, a rug to stop the sound bouncing around and possibly something over the walls just to help. So I've got a kitchen area, oven stain, I just need to clean that. But that will be handy if I do any clay or silver clay work. Fridge, loads of cupboards for my moulds, etc. Sink, which is handy. Through there is the bar. So this is where the magic is going to be happening. I've got all my storage put together those awkward shelving units um, in that cupboard there again lots of storage that I can put in there I've got storage down there the walls as you can see I'm halfway through filling holes and redecorating but this is where most of the magic is going to be happening lighting you're going to find I'm going to need your advice from your perspective as to which lighting I'm going to be using I'm going to need to play around with this I'm not a professional when it comes to studio setups and stuff like that so yeah we'll go through some options and you you guys just let me know what what looks best from your perspective I've got lots of storage loads of storage under there so yeah i still need to organize some bits but as i go i think i'm gonna put things in places that i know are easy to reach and easy to get to I can spin my chair from there over to there <laughs> to grab stuff really really quickly and easily so this is practically it i've got my laser set up there for now with my vac airless vac but i aim to go on live a lot more maybe on this platform and other platforms as well which is why i've got the ring light and this cool stuff that you're not really going to see on camera now i don't know whether to go with the protective mat that i was using before or just sheet this with a, a plastic that can be replaced and cleaned I don't know yet. It would be a shame to get this covered with some nice. Oh, but I have a new little toy. <laughs> I'm hoping this is gonna this is gonna help a little bit. It's a little desk vacuum cleaner, which I think is really cool. Most of you have probably already got one of these, but I've never seen one until the other day, and I thought I need that. But in the long run, I've dropped one of the vacuum brushes on the floor. In the long run, I, I can't quite afford to do it yet, but I want to get like a kitchen island, a big worktop here, so I can do bigger projects on there also. But for now, I'm, I'm limited to just my desk. <laughs> right, so for this video, we're going with the ring light. 
as you can see, I may be able to angle this in different ways. I'm really hoping this isn't too new and you don't like it, but I'm sure we'll get used to it. <laughs> so what I want to try today is we're going back with the cat eye nail polishes, but I'm going to try them in a slightly different way today. I want to try and get, you know, when I've done the pen effect and I've spanned the middle of the resin, you may have seen it in previous videos. If you're new, you're going to see it done. I'm going to try and get a, a better galaxy effect by spinning the drops of UV resin. Uh, nail polishes <laughs> in my UV resin and because I don't know how it's going to work I'm going to start on a smaller piece as a test run first so I think to begin with I'm going to start with this color as always the links are in the description box below and I'm just going to add I don't want to go too crazy but I want to form almost like a galaxy whirl. Let's give it a bit of help. I'm just going to enter maybe three drops around that small heart. And I don't want it sinking. But then I could always experiment with the PVA glue side of things. So what I'm going to do now is just hold my needle in the middle and just keep spinning and it's going to start to pull everything inwards into a whirl just keep going it's not really going the way i wanted it to but i'm going to keep going it's kind of concentrated in some areas it's not forming a perfect swirl i'm going to keep going <laughs> i wanted more in the middle right let's grab our magnet so the magnet will affect the the way it sparkles in the light let's give that a cure right that's had a couple of minutes under the light and I cured it on the underside also let's see if we've got anything it's kind of there doesn't definitely need a black background doesn't it I think right let's go with something slightly bigger I'm really nervous guys. I'm really nervous about the change. I'm, I'm nervous about the lighting, the echoing. Oh, I really am, but we can iron things out as we go. Whoa, that was a big blob. That's going to sink surely. Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna take on board all of your suggestions because it is new, it's important. I don't want to upset everyone. Um, let's let's make this work. I'm going in with the other color now. So the one that I just used was this code. And that one has spread a bit more. I think I need to act a little bit quicker. I think my needle is just too too thin. So I'm going to find my other docking tool and see if that pulls any different. That's better. But now I've got that horrible blob of the second colour that I went in with. So I'm going to pull that. Now I'm disturbing the other one. This isn't going well. And I forgot to use my magnet. Right, so I really do prefer this one now. So what I'm going to do is do exactly the same thing again, but leave out that second color that I put in. So just the two drops. I'm going to remember to use the magnet this time. There's a nice swirl. There is the magnet. So the, again, the magnet just aims the the pigments in a different direction, depending on how you 
place the magnet over the piece. You can get different shape magnets also. And again, just cure that. I'm going to back this one with some black. So just a tiny dash of black mica powder. Not too much. And mix that in. And then just pull it over the top. Not too thick, again, because that is also going to make it harder to cure. Remember guys, you can always layer your blacks to make it darker. And I've just gone in with a second layer just to darken that up because the center was a little bit shallow where the UV resin had not cured level. Okay, let's see if this one has turned out better. Wow. It really has got some depth to it also. I'm going to give that a quick water cure. That looks really, really cool. So I'm going to try this. My mold is a little bit tarnished. I'm going to try this on the big oval now. So I'm going in with the same color, but I'm going to try mixing things up a little bit and adding maybe a, a reddish color. So I'm going with this one. Both of those, both of these colors are in the same set. The one that I first tried isn't. Oh, I don't know if I like that already. Um, I'm gonna go with it. It's got like a greeny tint to it also. And it's not spreading the same as that first color either. Oh, we will see what happens. Come on, off you go. Drip off. <laughs> there we go. Just keep spinning that middle. Thank you. And of course, I forget the magnet. Is it too late? We're going to find out afterwards. <laughs> so with this one, I've just gone in with the purple. I haven't fully cured this one yet. I stopped just to start this one quickly. Hopefully, I'm gonna remember to do the magnet. There we go. <laughs> my mind is panicking. It's wondering whether this is going down okay. You know, this whole new thing. Right, so let's see what we have. The one that I forgot to use the magnet on. <laughs> As always, give the video a thumbs up, drop me a comment if you haven't subbed, hit that button for me. And just drop me some ideas in the comments, I'm not sure. Let me just turn the ring light off so you can see what it's like off with natural light. It's not very good. Wow. I uh, see, I really like that with that red color in there as well that ring light really is quite strong isn't it let me try the other light it's going to take some getting used to no it's just not it i think the ring light maybe i just need to angle it differently because it is really really strong and the wobble you can see that really cool galaxy effect going on there different light as well it really does shine up really nice right the one that was just the purple but i added more oh no look at the state of my mold that's not good right new mold required that's a shame well it's not it's not unfixable always sand that down very light sand and then glaze that but that light really does show up all the imperfections doesn't it this one is definitely my favorite look at that right well, hope you enjoyed the update <laughs> i will see you for the next one bye for now